Meanwhile, it's been a mixture of good news and bad news for soybean producers this season. Thanks to years of research and planning, farmers have found effective ways to knock down the kudzu bug population, only to be hit with another problem. Damon Jones explains. While soybeans might make up only a fraction of the row crops grown here in Georgia, it has been profitable for producers over the past couple of years. And that's not likely to change in 2013, as prices have been at an all-time high. It's been pretty steady. I think over the last few years with the price increase of, of, you know, last year we had some beans contracted at 15 and I know cash basis went up on to $17 at some points and, you know, the, the interest in soybeans did grow. One of the main deterrents for producers over the past few growing seasons has been a rise in the kudzu bug population. However, thanks to plenty of research and smart practices in the field, these pests haven't been a major problem so far this year. When we first saw it, we were, you know, basically telling them to spray every two weeks, spray the edges of the field. Now we're down to just one time, and, and usually that's like the R3, R4 stage of the beans. And like right now on these beans, we, we haven't even seen them in here yet. Another reason for the sharp decline in numbers has simply been timing. According to the numbers, the later your crop matures, the better your chance to avoid major problems. There's a few early beans planted up here this year, but when you start planting things six weeks to two months late, uh, they evidently die or go somewhere else. Even though producers have basically eliminated one huge obstacle, they've been faced with yet another headache to deal with this season. And it's a problem that every farmer has struggled with in 2013, the weather. While we were trying to spray our chemicals, I think the chemicals got into the seed as they were coming up and really hurt them that way. So being waterlogged and then chemical damage has really uh, done a number on the beans. It's also done a number on the amount of beans planted in this area as well, as there is roughly a third of the amount compared to last season. We're not as many acres are planted in this county this year. We're usually anywhere from 1,600 to 2,000, and at best we're, we're no more than 500 acres this year just because of getting the weed out of the field at a later time this year and just farmers making the decision of not to go ahead and plant beans. These soggy conditions have been a major change from 2012 when the weather cooperated and helped farmers record a record harvest. It's also produced a change in philosophy that has producers picking and choosing which fields to pay the most attention to. Last year it was like we a blanket uh, spray. We, we went everywhere with it uh, because we had potential in every field. And this year it's just uh, one field may be fine. Two weeks later you planted another one and it just won't make anything. Now, despite the setbacks, farmers continue to keep a positive attitude as they just wait to see what Mother Nature has in store for them next. That's just uh, where we work with weather. Always, you get up every morning, you see what you're going to do. You decide from what the weather's doing. And this summer has been one you sit and watch, uh, which is, Georgia has never seen this before. And the farmers always thought well, you couldn't get too much rain, but I think we thinking about it now it rains a great thing but it can be even too much of a good thing reporting from elbert county i'm damon jones for the georgia farm monitor